imagine you have a project like this. You've got a dozen of hanging custom lamps and you want to hide just a few LED pixels inside each of those lamps. You don't really want to bother with complicated cabling and you want to have your controller pretty far away from your segments. What would a standard workflow on an installation like this will look? Well, I assume that you will take a bunch of LED strips. You will take your controller, your power source, you will connect the first strip and then you will jump to next one. SPI lamp solves this issue. To give you a little overview of uh, what we have built here for ourselves to test SPI lamp controller, these are four rows. Each row has 20 strips and each strip has 12 diodes. On each SPI lamp you have to set up how many diodes are there and you will use dip switch for that. You can use any kind of ArtNet generator, whether it is grandma console or computer software. Our ArtNet to SPI converter, SPI matrix, will handle the data transmission over our custom protocol to the controller. To connect these two together, you use Ethernet cable. This allows for a long-range data transmission, since we are sending differential data from SPI matrix. In a single line, you can connect 85 SPI lamp devices. Minimum number of diodes on a single device is 9 and maximum is 1024 RGB pixels.